What's up guys and welcome back to the Realistic Rumor with Rex and this is episode number 26 and as we see Oli Palmer saying after his brace in the last game against Bristol Rovers he's hoping he gets some minutes against Plymouth. I'll be honest Oli that probably won't happen but yeah uh, that draw against uh, Rovers rounded off uh, not a bad episode we lost at home to Burton 1-0 but then responded really well and beat Portsmouth at Fratton Park 1-0 uh, to continue our unbeaten away form in the league. Three wins from four, including back-to-back -back, uh, clean sheets for Nathan Lloyd. We uh, take on Plymouth in the first uh, game of today's episode, who were rele relegated from the Championship last season. And, well, it's the second side we've faced who were relegated from the Championship last season. The first were, of course, Rotherham, who batted us on the opening day 4-0. Jordan Davis and co. are looking like they're going to go straight back up. They are still unbeaten in the league. But I fancy my chances, you know, with this team, we're starting to gel, we're, we're starting to find some rhythm. And uh, just a few minutes in, Mendy and Bennett linking up well, but uh, the, the cross is blocked for a corner. George Evans, our CDM. I don't know why this guy was on corners in the first place, but we never took him off it because he is just, he, his deliveries are great, just like Mendy from the right side. And it would prove, uh, that would prove again, Paul Mullin, uh, his initial header saved by the keeper, but then he gets his own rebound to give us a 1-0 lead and grab his seventh goal of the season already. Plymouth had a, a slight chance to uh, equalise, but then it was just all Wrexham in this first half. We were all over this side. It was really looking like we were the side that was relegated from the Championship last season and they were the side who were in League 2 last season. It was quite hard to believe that these sides were two, go uh, two divisions apart. But that's just how we're playing at the moment. The confidence is flowing and you talk about confidence. This man, Paul Mullen, is just oozing confidence. He scores a, a nice header, which I don't know. Let me know in the comments if you have this as well. I find crosses really hard to score this year from open play. I feel, I feel like whenever I put a cross in, the players who are running into the box just completely overrun and run past the ball, which is it's quite infuriating. Obviously, from corners, we seem to be lethal. But uh, yeah, Paul Mullin grabs a goal. And then, oh my word, this goal is one of my favourite of the career mode so far. Uh, Elliot Lee is put in behind and then he cuts it back to Paul Mullin who oh my god on his so-called weaker foot finds the top corner bar down oh th this goal was filthy it was beautiful and uh, Mullin grabs his third our third and that should be the game wrapped up we make a few subs to keep the players fresh now I feel like the game is done and dusted Paul Mullin the hat-trick hero coming off he grabbed his seventh eighth and ninth goals of the season well, with 15 minutes ago, Pritchard swings a ball in, but Bolton's header uh, goes over via deflection. I think it did go out for a corner. And then that was pretty much it. With the game pretty much done, both sides sort of petered out towards the end. And we uh, see this one through 3 0 against, uh, against a strong Plymouth side who were up there uh, around the area we were just outside the playoffs. So this was a big win for us. And I said last episode I wanted to try and improve my league form, uh, my home league form, sorry. This is the perfect way to do it. A Paul Mullin hat trick gives us a 3 0 victory against Plymouth. And it's another clean sheet as well, by the way. Three clean sheets in the last four. We're, are we suddenly a really good defensive unit? Um, maybe, maybe. I feel like we're finding a good rhythm at the moment. We changed formation a couple games early uh, into the season. We went to a 4 2 3 1, and it seems to be working quite well. As you can see there, we are now sixth in the league ahead of Burton, who are still undefeated. Seven draws from 10 is crazy. But we are now in the top six. Just 10 games in, though. It's still very early days yet. As we see, uh, Peterborough are 13th. They are our next opponents. They are uh, another decent side as well, Peterborough. As Thomas O'Connor comes to us and, and says that he wasn't feeling 100% and needed a rest, but we picked him and then he wanted to play in the big game and we didn't pick him. Thomas, I'm sorry, mate, you are a rotation player and you'll be used when you need to be used, unfortunately, mate. Um, and Palmer says that he's disappointed not to have played. I'm sorry, Ollie. But, you know, it's just, it just is what it is. As we see the uh, top, uh, top scorer in stats, Paul Mullen is now a league top scorer. Am I shocked? No, because this guy is a goal machine. Nine goals from 10. Although Shimanga for Peterborough has seven and seven, which is quite an incredible record. I don't know why he's only played seven games, but uh, he's had a really good start with Peterborough, who we are facing in the next game. Uh, Nathan Lloyd, three clean sheets as well. Uh, three of the last four as well. So nice to see him uh, getting some getting some good form early. Uh, obviously, this is his, uh, he's only 17 years old, so 
it's um, still relatively new. We decided to drop Lainton for the season and make Nathan Lloyd our number one going forward. So far, that seems to be paying off. Anyway, going into the second game of the episode, it is Peterborough away as we look to continue our unbeaten away form. They are 13th at the moment, while six minutes in, Paul Mullen, that man is on fire right now. 10th league goal already for PM10, and he gives us a six-minute lead. Well, the posh would look to respond 22 minutes in. Uh, Mason Clark found on the edge of the box, but his shot goes uh, well, well over. Um, Nathan Lloyd seeing that one out. And then 32 minutes on the clock, Christie cuts it back to Paul Mullen. And even though it was a tight angle, um, he probably should have done better. And he's not happy with himself here. His shot goes wide of the far post. And we were, we were 1-0 up at halftime. Well, in the second half, Jewison Bennett swings out, uh, swings in across. And it actually gets headed up into the box rather than away. Paul Mullen's header is just saved. I think, I, I think the keeper got a fingertip to that. It was a brilliant save. He tips it onto the bar. But we're really, really pressing the issue now. We recycle the ball. Ball gets crossed in. Mendy swings it in. And again, it's a wayward header out now for a corner. Evans delivers. Hayden's there. Oh, that's a good save from their posh keeper. Peter Burrow really up against it at the moment. If they want anything from this game, they're going to have to hold us off as we have our tails up and look to kill the game. And, well, Mendy to Mullen. Those two, I'd love to know how many goals they've combined for in corners because... It's a deadly, deadly. It's a deadly duo. I, I tell you what, I'm fan, I'm really enjoying corners this year. I seem to have just been able to find out and work out how best to uh, utilize them. And you know, time and time again, we seem to score. And Mendy grabs uh, another assist. He swings in a great ball. And Paul Mullen, this guy can't be stopped right now. He has his second and our second of the game, and that should be another great away day for us. As there were six minutes added on, I rarely see that. Uh, ball seen out for a corner. Could we? Could we? Could Mullen grab another goal? Could he get back-to-back -back hat tricks? This will be the last play of the game. Uh, Mendy, as always, on the corner. Paul Mullen looking for back-to-back -back hat tricks. I saw the ball out just purely for this reason to see if I could grab the hat trick. Mendy swings it in. Mullen's there. <laughs> oh my god, he's unbelievable. This guy is an absolute cheat code two games two hat tricks this episode Paul Mullen with six goals in two games what a man back to back 3-0 victories for Rex and back to back hat tricks for Paul Mullen this guy is outrageous more away day joy as well for those traveling fans it is four wins from five away from home and uh, the other one was a draw as well so unbeaten and as we look to continue our really good form actually despite that Burton loss we've uh, we've won four of our last five and we're now up to fifth place in the league so flying high really good start to this uh, league campaign Rotherham still unbeaten but Burton did lose so Rotherham remain the only unbeaten side as they have an eight point gap over Wigan already that's crazy as we look at the month of September and I remember at the start of this month saying that this was going to be a really tough month we handled it really well. I know we lost 1-0 to Burton and I don't really count the cup fixture because we rotated. But those four fixtures, Derby, Portsmouth, Plymouth, Peterborough, four wins, four clean sheets, three of them away from home as well. Really impressed with our start so far. And I feel like hopefully it's just going to continue. As we look at the league table and it will be Fleetwood uh, for the third and final game of the, today's episode. They are 22nd right now, two wins from their first 11, struggling. Um, so you'd think that we would win this game, but... Nothing is given. Nothing is given to you. You have to earn every single point in this league. And I'm not taking anything for granted as well because it is against the, the teams that are struggling where you could slip up. So it's vital that we go into this one and uh, treat it like we're playing any other team in the league. Well, it would be Fleetwood who would actually start the better. Like I said, you know, sometimes you can get caught off guard and they would take the lead. Shots saved by, uh, by Lloyd, but the rebound passes. Uh, former Fleetwood defender actually Josh Earl that we actually signed uh, Earl from Fleetwood this summer um, he can't get to the ball and Fleetwood get the rebound and then Lloyd is forced into action again really good save from the keeper as um, Fleetwood are really looking to press the issue here they are all over us in this first half and now we really didn't get going but that Lloyd save has sort of spurred us on a little bit uh, Bennett finds Mendy out wide he gets to the byline and Paul Mullen this guy what would we do without him my words Mullen makes it 1-1. He has scored our last eight league goals, by the way. 
<laughs> oh my word, we're so dependent. Well, that was a make that nine. <laughs> this guy's unstoppable. Mullen makes it two on the day, two for us, and we've turned this one around against Fleetwood. A clinical finish after a really nice through ball. And yes, we might have conceded for her foot. I think it's actually, I think it's the first time in over 300 minutes that Nathan Lloyd conceded a league goal. So that he's been incredible right now. But it's a good response because Fleetwood were really good in that first half an hour, obviously scrapping for any sort of points they can get. They were leading 1 0 deservedly. So, and even our equaliser, it was absolutely against the run of play. I think it was even our first shot of the game. But in the second half, we really came into our own. Pritchard, who was subbed on for Elliot Lee, he's found down the line. And he finds Mullen, who's looking for a hat-trick of hat-tricks. His shot is blocked, though. Deadly from corners, though. You know we are. Good save, though, from the keeper. Mendy finding Mullen once again. Uh, ears out for another corner, though. Other side this time. George Evans swings it in, and he cannot be denied. <laughs> I'm running out of superlatives for this man. He is a cheat code. He is, oh, he is just incredible Paul Mullen hat trick of hat tricks three games today in today's episode three hat tricks nine goals scored he is unstoppable imagine what where would we be without Paul Mullen this guy is incredible and well do you know what later on I was really really gassed that this guy got a goal Luke Bolton who is He's been out of form since we signed him last year he's been better this year but still he can improve a lot and his shooting in particular has been really bad. I've noticed it. So that goal will hopefully do him the world of good. A really good finish. Mullen picking up an assist. And we uh, we make it a 4-1 win. We come back from one goal down to win 4-1. That um, Bolton goal was actually the first non-Mullen goal we've scored in the league for 10 goals. So it was important that we don't just become a one-man team here. And the expectation is shared amongst the side. Obviously, it's great to have a bagsman, but we cannot just rely on Mullen. So... Glad to see Bolton pick up a goal as well. And after a shaky start in that one against the struggling side, we come round, uh, we we turn it around and for the last hour or so, we really dominated that game and score four goals to make it six league wins on the bounce. We are flying right now. Uh, just before we wrap up the episode, um, we get our youth scouting uh, updates and a few of those Welsh players who we knew, knew look good already, but then there's a third one um, who looks great. Like I said, though, we're short on funds right now, so I won't be signing anyone just yet and then Patrick Armstrong from the English scouting report he looks like a great attacking option I'm, I'm hoping that I can bring these lads into the youth academy before the end of the season well looking at the board's um, objectives the confidence rating when we've got five away wins already imagine I did not think we would have had that checked off by October that is crazy um, the confidence rating is at 98 the board is thrilled with us right now um the main objective, though, is fight for promotion. That is the main one, and that is what we're trying to do. We're trying to achieve that for the board, for the Wrexham lads, for the community. Well, we're sat in fourth right now as that defeat for Fleetwood sees them drop to bottom. The other three promoted sides, by the way, um, that came up with us, Salford, MK Dons and Stockport, 16th, 17th and 18th respectively, only eight collective wins between them. We have seven on our own, so really glad that we're adapting to this league whilst those teams are struggling but it is obviously early days yet. We're only just over a quarter of the way through the season. But if you're enjoying the series, make sure you drop a like on the video. Make sure you check out the Patreon as well. If you want to see these episodes a day earlier than anyone else, make sure to um, check head over to the Patreon and uh, you can access episodes a day early as well as re loads of other cool features as well. So make sure to check it out. The link's in the bio. Sub to the channel if you aren't already. Drop a like on the video and I'll catch you in episode 27 very soon.